What do you think of when you hear the word Neanderthal? Is it a stocky, hairy man with prominent eyebrows and a small brain? Well, you'll be surprised then that that vision is false. Neanderthals were a type of human that lived for about 100,000 years in Eurasia. They were more adapted to the colder and temperatures of that area. However, popular belief holds that modern humans were simply too smart for the bumbling beasts, and we outcompeted them until they eventually died off. But it's more likely that there was a mix of interbreeding and competition between the two species. And Neanderthals were actually well adapted to their environment, having stocky bodies, taking care of the sick, and even boasting larger brains, tools, and fires. So what if this advanced species was not either exterminated by our human species or interbred and eventually died off in that manner? What would the world look like today? Well, if Neanderthals were not to die off, they would still be pushed into ever smaller and remote pockets of land as humans, that's what we're going to call Homo sapiens for the rest of this video, I've competed them for resources with better weapons and a more cohesive coordination. So kind of like endangered species in our timeline, small pockets of Neanderthals would likely live in alpine regions of Europe, far away from the rest of human civilization. Humans would likely see Neanderthals as too different from them, with their different anatomy and such. So, living on the fringes of society, Neanderthals would be ostracized and persecuted, perhaps like the Jews in our timeline. However, unlike to groups that we to see that are frequently ostracized, minorities, people of different faiths and cultures, we would be able to relate to Neanderthals even less. They are different species after all, so racism or speciesism in this case would be much more worse. That's why I see this scenario as hard to occur. If widespread racism were to occur and a kingdom or nation decided just on one occasion, wipe out the Neanderthals in an example of ethnic hatred, it wouldn't be too hard. Numbers of the Neanderthals weren't too high on any one occasion, and with the competition between the newly arrived Homo sapiens, the numbers would be even lower. So with that in mind, imagine tiny packs of Neanderthals living in remote and cold wildernesses that they are better adapted to, most likely hunting and gathering food. How would European culture be impacted? Outsiders would likely see Europeans as less refined and more primitive, having a group of humans within them that seem like subhuman in their habits to sapien civilizations. European civilizations would still likely develop roughly the same as their own, but instead of using the traditional religious and ethnic minorities to vent its hatred against, it would use the Neanderthals to do so. Like today, humans want to believe that they are something special, something above the rest of animals. So naturally, they would terrorize and marginalize the Neanderthals, attacking them whenever a scapegoat is needed. Neanderthals might adapt human technology eventually, but they would never be fully accepted into society, living on the fringes of civilization. In the modern era, there would still be hatred against Neanderthals, but would likely be that there would be re-evaluation of past bigotry and a greater acceptance into society. Perhaps we could see the development of a Neanderthal state to protect their rights, much like the Jewish state of Israel. The reason this scenario is so hard to predict is due to the simple fact that it is ridiculously unlikely. Neanderthals were virtually doomed when they first met the Homo sapiens, and for thousands of years we have lived as a sole human species on the face of the earth, so it is virtually mind-boggling to imagine a world in which we are not alone. Thanks for watching.